this video, let's talk about the coordinate plane. Now what we're going to be doing here is first we're going to start by looking at these things called ordered pairs. So these ordered pairs are basically just going to be points that we have that are in coordinates that are in x comma y. So x is left and right, y is going to be up and down. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can write some ordered pairs here. So for the first one we have is A. Uh, we start at the origin here, and we always move left or right first. So we're going to move to the left how many spaces. Looks like eight units to the left. So we're going to go ahead and put a negative eight for our first value. Then after we move eight to the left, it looks like we have to move up how many units. Looks like that's going to be at six. So we did move eight to the left, then we move up six. So the ordered pair here is going to be negative eight comma positive six. Now what about B? Well, for B, we're going to start at the origin. We're going to move two spaces to the right. So we're going to go ahead and put a positive two here. And then once we move two spaces to the right, we're going to go to two spaces up to get to where B is. So that's positive two. All right. So to the right is positive and up is positive. Now, what about C? For C, we're going to start at the origin and we're going to move three units to the left. So that's going to be negative three. And then after we move three units to the left here, so here is our three units to the left, then we're going to go ahead and move six units down. So that's going to be negative six. All right. So now that we've done a few of these together, let's go ahead and maybe go a little bit faster. Now, what about D? Well, D is located over here down to the right. We're going to start the origin. We're going to go ahead and move eight units to the right. That's going to be positive eight. And then we're going to be moving eight units down. That's going to be negative eight. All right. So our ordered pair is going to be eight comma negative eight. How about E? Well, E is down here to the left. So for E, we're going to start the origin. We're going to move, looks like that's seven units to the left. So negative seven. And then we're going to be moving, looks like that is nine units down. So negative nine. So I think we're going to have negative seven comma negative nine, negative seven, negative nine. And then moving on to F, uh, for F here, that's over in quadrant one. So we start at the origin. We're gonna go ahead and move, how many is that? Six units to the right, so that's positive six. And then we're gonna be moving six units up, so that's also positive six. So we're just gonna write six comma six, since they're both positive. Now for F, that's over here in quadrant one, that's gonna be six units to the right, so that's positive six. And then to get up to F, we have to move six units up. So that's also positive six. So the coordinates here for F are going to be six comma six. Moving on for G, G is located in quadrant two. To get there, we're going to move six units to the left. So that's negative six. And we're going to move three units up. So that's going to be positive three. So we're going to say negative six comma positive three, just like that. All right, what about for H? For H, that's going to be located in quadrant four. To get here, we're going to have to move four units to the right first, so that's plus four. And then we're going to go have to move uh, four units down, so that's going to be negative four. So positive four comma negative four. Now how about I? For I, it looks like that is going to be over here on the x-axis. It's on the positive x-axis, so start at the origin. Let's go ahead and move how many units? Looks like nine to the right. And then in terms of up and down, we're not moving anything, so that's just going to be zero. So we're going to move nine to the right and then don't move up or down. So we're going to put a zero there. And then finally for J here, it's over on the positive Y axis. So starting from the origin, we're actually not going to move left or right. So that's going to be zero, but then we're going to move up. Okay. So we're going to move up four units. So the first a number we're going to put is zero because we're not moving left or right, but the second number is going to be positive four. All right, for these next set of problems here, let's go ahead and graph and then also uh, label each of these on that coordinate plane here. So in terms of this, when we say graph, we're just going to plot them and then we're going to label each of these points. So we're going to just put the letters of them. All right. So let's start with K. K is negative five, negative three. So let's go ahead and see where negative five, negative three would be. So, so for K, if we're going to plot negative five comma negative three, negative five means five to the left. That's negative five. And negative three means three down. So that's going to be negative three. All right. So this right here is going to be where K is going to be. So let's go ahead and plot that down. That's going to be where K is. All right. What about L? Well, L looks like it's negative nine comma positive three. So let's go ahead and start at the origin here. Let's go negative nine. So it's going to be nine units to the left here. So here's negative nine and then positive three means three units up. So here is where L is going to be. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and plot a point here and I'll put the point L. 
All right, for 13, we have M, which is three comma eight. All right, so let's take a look at our coordinate plane here. Start at the origin, let's go to three, that's positive three, that's to the right. And then we have to go to positive eight, so that's going to be up here. All right, so this is where the point's gonna be. That's going to be where M is. Okay, so we have uh, K, L, and M. Moving on to number 14, we have N, which is eight comma positive three. So let's go ahead and start the origin here. Let's go to eight, that's gonna be eight units to the right. And then positive three is gonna be three units up, so plus three. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have a point right over here, and we're gonna label this one N. For 15, we have six comma negative six, and that's gonna be O. So the first number is positive six, so we're gonna start the origin and move six units to the right, and then that's positive six. Then we're gonna move six units down, that's going to be at negative six. All right, so this is gonna be quadrant four, and this point right over here is going to be O. All right, finally for 16, we have P, which is negative five comma zero. That negative five means we're gonna move five units to the left, and then the zero means don't move up and don't move down. Let's just go ahead and plot a point right over here, and that is going to be P. All right, so that takes care of just plotting some points, and let's go ahead and now try doing this with some fractions and decimals maybe, but I'm gonna stick with fractions here, these types of rational numbers. All right, so first just try to notice how the tick marks are working here. Uh, it looks like uh, if we have zero right in the middle here and one over here, that means this must be one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So you can go ahead and just count how many little tick marks are in between zero and one, and then add one to that, and that's gonna be what type of fraction you're dealing with. This will be one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, and two. That being said, moving to the left here, this will be negative one fourth, negative one half, negative three fourths, and negative four fourths, which is the same thing as negative one. And going over more, this will be negative one and a quarter, negative one and a half, negative one and three quarters, and negative two. Going up and down, this would be positive a quarter, positive a half, positive three fourths, then positive one whole, one and one fourth, one and a half, one and three fourths, two. Negative a quarter, negative a half, negative three quarters, negative one, negative one and a quarter, negative one and a half, negative one and three quarters, and negative two. All right, so hopefully we can see here that every uh, box here is technically just a quarter or one fourth. All right, starting with A here, A is down in quadrant three, so it looks like that is going to be uh, negative one and a half, that's moving to the left, and then moving down, how much is this? This looks like it's going to be negative one, all right? So let's go ahead and put that in. That's going to be negative one and a half, I think we said, and then negative one. Now B is over here in quadrant one. To get over there, let's go ahead and move plus one and one fourth, that's to the right. And then it looks like this is moving up half. So this is plus one half. So writing that down, it's gonna be one and a quarter to the right. And then it's just a half moving up. How about C? C is over here in quadrant two. To get there, let's move left. That looks like it's gonna be negative one and a half to the left. And then if we go ahead and move up here, this is going to be, it looks like uh, this is positive one and a quarter, right? I think that's right. Yeah, positive one and a quarter. So negative one and one half, or then positive one and one quarter. All right, for D, D is up on the positive Y axis. So we're not moving left or right. So we can go ahead and put a zero in right away for the X value, but then how far up and down are we moving? It looks like we're moving up one and a half here, okay? So let's go ahead and put one and one half. All right, for E, E is down here in quadrant four. Looks like we're moving one quarter, then two quarters, or this is positive one half to the right. And then we're moving down half, so it's gonna be negative one half. So I'm gonna just go ahead and write in, we have one half to the right, and then negative one half. That means we're moving one half down. F is down here in quadrant four. We're gonna start the origin and move how far to the right. This looks like one and a half, so it's positive one and a half. And then how far down are we going? Looks like we're moving down one and three quarters. So that's gonna be negative one and three quarters. So positive one and a half, that's gonna be the X value. Then negative one and three quarters, that's gonna be the Y value. For G, that's located in quadrant two. We're gonna start the origin. It looks like we're gonna be moving uh, three quarters to the left, so negative three quarters. And it looks like we're moving positive one half up. All right, so I'm gonna write negative three quarters, 
negative 3 fourths, and then positive 1 half. For h, it looks like we're just moving left one and a quarter, so negative one and one fourth, and then don't move up or down at all. It looks like it's just staying on the x-axis, so we're gonna go ahead and put a zero in for the up and down part, but for the uh, left and right part, that's negative one and one quarter. All right, i is located up here in quadrant one, so we gotta move to the right first. That's going to be positive one and three quarters. That's what that looks like. And then we have to move up, right? So if we move up all the way to here, this is going to be positive one and three quarters as well. So it uh, looks like it's the same amount in both directions. So let's go ahead and write that in as one and three quarters, also one and three quarters. Finally for J, we're gonna start the origin and just move to the left. It looks like it's just negative one quarter. And then we're gonna move down, which is also negative one quarter. So this one looks like it's pretty close to the origin. So negative one fourth, comma, negative one fourth. All right, let's move on to this next section here. Let's go ahead and just take a look at plotting some of these points down, these rational numbers here. So looking at K, K is going to be this uh, positive one comma negative 1.5. So dealing with decimals, but uh, hopefully these aren't too bad because the quarters are kind of nice here. So every quarter is 0.25 and every half is just 0.5. So let's try K. Uh, looks like for K, it's gonna be one comma negative 1.5. So one means we're gonna move from the origin to the right to one. And then that's going to be uh, 1.5 down. So here's negative one and here's another uh, negative 0.5. So this is negative 1.5 units down. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and plot K. K is gonna be right over here. I'm gonna put the letter K next to it so we know what we're talking about. For 28, we have L. L is gonna be at negative half comma one. So half is gonna be here or negative half rather. So that's negative one half. And then positive one means we're gonna move up for that Y value. So we're gonna go ahead and plot a point right over here. This is in quadrant two, and this is going to be L. For 29, it looks like we have M, which is negative one and three quarters, comma, negative one and three quarters. So let's start at the origin here, where it's negative one and three quarters. That's almost negative two, uh, but it's negative one and three fourths, so just one quarter short. And then we're gonna move down one and three quarters. So how far down is that gonna go? Looks like that's gonna be right about here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and plot a point here and say this is going to be M. For N, it has uh, 1.75, so that's one and three quarters, that's positive. So it's gonna almost make it to two, so that's over here, plus 1.75 to the right. And then it's negative three quarters or negative 0.75, so that's three of these boxes, so it's gonna be negative 0.75. And so we're gonna go ahead and plot this point in quadrant four. This one is going to be N. Next we have O. O is going to be a zero comma negative one and three quarters. The zero means don't move left or right, so just stay put at the origin. The negative one and three quarters, here's negative one. And then moving three more quarters, here's negative three quarters. So this is negative one and three quarters. It looks like it's gonna be on the negative y axis. We're just gonna plot the point right down here. And this is gonna be point O. For 32, we have P, which is 3 fourths comma zero. So we start the origin and move 3 fourths to the right. That's three of these boxes over here. That's positive 3 fourths. And then the zero means don't move up and don't move down. So we're just going to actually just plot this point right on the positive x-axis and call this point P. Then for Q, we have negative 1.5 comma negative 1 and 3 quarters. So negative 1.5 means we're going to start at the origin here and move. Uh, here's negative 1 and then here's a negative 0.5. So here's negative 1.5 to the left and then negative 1 and 3 quarters. So moving down here, here's negative 1, but then we need to move 3 quarters. So it's going to be right next to M here. So this is negative 1 and 3 quarters, right? So let's go ahead and just plot that down. This right here is going to be Q. And finally for 34, we have R, which is at 1 fourth comma two. So positive 1 fourth is going to be to the right here. That's positive 1 fourth. And we gotta move up a lot here. So let's go ahead and move up two units. So looks like it's gonna be all the way up here. This is positive two units. And so we can go ahead and plot a point here. And what letter was that? That was R, good. So let's go ahead and put that R here. And I think that is all the points plotted. 
Alrighty, so I think that covers everything that we had in this particular set of practice problems. In the beginning part, we just took a look at plotting these uh, rational numbers uh, on the coordinate plane and kind of getting used to them with uh, whole number units. But on the second coordinate plane here, notice that each of these uh, little boxes wasn't worth one, they were actually worth one fourth, so slightly different. If you found the video helpful, please consider sharing it with a classmate or friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep it the great work that you're already doing, and I'll see you in the next one.